G'day. In today's video, I'm going to be rebuilding my bootloader as I've cloned to an M.2 SSD from a 2.5 inch S, uh, SATA. And once I disconnected the, uh, the 2.5 inch drive, I was unable to boot into Windows. As soon as it was connected, it would boot off the NVMe drive perfectly fine. So from here, I'm going to boot off the USB. And once I'm booted off the USB, I'll be going into command prompt. And I'll be deleting the 100 or the 99 megabyte bootloader file, which is, is a FAT32 file. Rebuilding that. And then from there, I should be able to boot directly off the M.2 perfectly fine. So it's an issue that I see every now and then when cloning. It's usually fairly rare though, but in this instance it's done it. So I'm gonna go into command prompt. Now I'm gonna go type in uh, disk part. And this is gonna display the various hard drives that are on the computer. We'll try and zoom in just a little bit further for you guys. And now that this has happened, I'm gonna type in list disk. As you can see, there is only two. One of them is the M.2 hard drive, which is disk zero, and disk one is the USB. So for now, I'm gonna go select disk zero, and now I'm gonna go list vol. And on this one here, I've got my 32 gig partition being volume 2, which is 100 meg, and it's currently hidden. So right now I've already fixed it, but I'll go through the steps of showing you. So what I want to do here is select, so I type in SEL, vol 2. Enter. And now I want to sign a drive letter to it. I'm going to go assign letter equals, and I will go with Z. You can make that any letter you like, as long as you remember what it is. Assigned the drive letter or mount. Now I want to exit disk part. So I've now left disk part, and if I type in C dot, there we go. So right now I'm on that drive. Now I'm going to format it. I'm going to go type in format Z. There we go. S at 32. All data will be removed. Yes. Proceed with format. Yes. And volume label, I don't want anything. Enter, done. Now from here, I'm gonna type in BCD boot C drive slash windows space slash S Z slash F U E F I. Here, boot file successfully created. And once you've done that, hopefully you fixed your issue with Windows 10 not loading after a clone. Yeah. Exit. Turn off computer. Now we'll turn it back on again. So what, the, what that has just done was rebuild the boot loader, which then, once the boot loader starts, it points it to where Windows is actually installed, which is on C drive. So the UEF, UEFI looks at the boot loader, and then C drive, and then loads Windows from there. So that's how to rebuild your boot loader on your Windows 10 machine. More than likely after you've done a clone, but 
If your bootloaders become corrupted for other reasons, this may be one way to resolve that. Anyway, I hope that helps. I'll leave the commands in the comments, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.